Hello, hello, welcome everyone to another World of Warships Legends extravaganza. That's right, this video is an extravaganza today, tonight, right? Yeah, thanks for visiting the channel, you guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you putting up with my shenanigans that is the extravaganza of this game, right? Okay, I am Phoenix61, your host for today. We are rocking the Shimkazi. Everyone's favorite destroyer to hate, except for people that like to play as the Shimikaze, right? <laughs> so yeah, lots of torpedoes, right? So three racks of five that can go, uh, what, 11 kilometers? You get standard with this thing? So lots of torps, lots of torps, you guys. So in all standard, you know, your typical destroyer fashion, we will head for the nearest zone. You know, I don't always do this, but usually it makes sense, right? And then my strategy with destroyers, so if you're struggling with going into zones and dying, right? So what I do is just have an exit plan, right? Before you even get in there, all right, what am I going to do? if I sort of get outgunned or outnumbered, right? So there are five destroyers on the enemy team in this game, right? So I fully suspect there's gonna be, you know, a gun-centric destroyer coming into this zone at some point, right? So I turn away here a little bit, right? The other thing too, you don't really, we are a little bit broadside, that's kind of not a good idea, right? But I'm moving around towards the outside. But the reason you want to be broadside is because, you, you know, you're going to get people doing the exact same thing that I'm doing on the other team, right? Which is dumping torpedoes through the zone, right? So if you're broadside, they're going to be a lot harder to dodge those, you know, said torpedoes, right? So I'm moving around towards the outside, and that'll be sort of my exit plan if we do get outnumbered or outgunned here, right? But we actually are getting uh, lucky in this scenario. And I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't want to say lucky, but like we were getting the zone cap, right? So it's like, oh, maybe that maybe no destroyers are going to come in here and we're going to get this zone. But in reality, like it's, it, it, you know, it's a horse apiece, whatever you want to call it, right? Because then there's destroyers elsewhere, right? And so as you can see, they cap zone C, right? So it's just like, and B, right? So nobody went and challenged those zones right away, right off the bat on our team. Um, so we kind of get a little bit of a, a loss there, right? So, and then, yeah, we're getting <laughs> this cruiser out there just taking guest shots into the zone. Did we get spotted? I don't remember. Like, if those are complete, like, if we didn't get spotted before, I wasn't paying attention, but like, those are 100% guesses. Like, that was a pretty good... That's a pretty good guess, right? <laughs> I'm impressed. But yeah, so we fired our torpedoes into that smoke screen and we get a dev strike on a fellow Shimikaze player. So, right? So, I don't know what you guys are talking about with the Shimikaze being the most annoying ship. It's, it's the easiest one for me to take out, right? I got these uh, torpedoes loaded up for doing more damage, so... <laughs> We take it typically we take them out in one torpedo hit, right? So oh, what 18,620 damage done to that guy He must have some health built into his because we are only at 17,900 So he must have some like whole health perks and we still took him out But yeah, I think the uh, the higher damage output that we're we've got built into this is probably uh, Probably played a part there, but I think me. I don't know if I've I don't know if I've been in a Shimikaze and been able to take a Shimikaze torpedo before. You know, it just all depends on what your build is compared to their build, right? So, speaking of builds, I'm saying the word build way too many times in a row. But we will go through the build at the end of this video. <laughs> and you can see. So we do finally get the zone cap because we took out that Shimikaze, right? So then we, uh, we're circling around here just kind of using torpedoes as they become available. And as you see, we're, we're doing a good job spacing them out. I don't always do a good job spacing out my torpedo launches, but you know, the reason you wanna do that, we've talked about this before, but if you can trigger floods, especially on some of these bigger battleships that have loads and loads of health pools, you know, like 90,000 plus for some of these guys, you know, flooding is the way to go. Like that's what's gonna decimate them. Um, so if you launch everything all at once, like, yeah, you have potential to just take them out right away. Um, but here, you know, if you trigger a flood and then you trigger another flood with a rack that you launch a little bit later, then they're, then they're screwed in only two racks and plus you've been able to shoot at other people or, you know, whatever. So that's just my, my general philosophy, but, you know, I'll occasionally 
not listen to myself, right? <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, you can see we got, so 57,000 damage, that's not half bad for uh, this, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say early in the game, because we're already, you know, 15 minute games, we're already a third of the way through, right? But then we do have that Shimikaze kill, which is of course huge, it's always huge to get a Shimikaze off the board. Um, so we will press up, you know, you're, you know, a lot of times, if I don't know what to do, I kind of tend to go where I feel like I'll be the most valuable, which I know on the surface, like, makes, like, you know, like, duh, well, no kidding. But, like, as a destroyer, we're probably, you know, we, you know, the rock, paper, scissors mentality of the game, right? Destroyers are good at taking out battleships, right? Especially Shimikaze, right? So, I'll move closer towards these two battleships that are left. And then we'll kind of try and divide and conquer, like if we see if we can get into zone B to help cap that zone too. But if you look at the mini map, we can see some teammates, you know, at least one destroyer heading in to take back B. Now this is like the other thing too. So our team played a little conservative and I griped in the beginning, right? That, hey, we lost zone B and C right off the bat. No one went to challenge those zones. Well, look what happened now, you're right. You know, so like, there's there's some value in doing what we were planning to do, right? Which would be move away from the zone and survive and come back to fight another day and then retake those zones when it, you know, sort of when it becomes organically viable, right? When it just makes more sense, right? So a zone without enemies in it is way easier to take, you know, like, so don't, you know, my recommendation is don't man it out and sit in there and sacrifice yourself to try and get the zone because what's going to happen is if you die then now that team can take that zone without you putting up a fight at all right so um you know i think the the you know the scenario where you know it might make a little bit more sense is if you're in a gunboat right so there's a few destroyers out there that just have awesome gun loadouts and they of course sacrifice something else right they either have you know, poor torpedoes or, you know, bad detectability, you know, like there's always some sort of drawback, there's always some sort of balance, right? But there are a couple of good gunboats out there, and we have videos with those too, where, you know, you can one-on-one -on -one fight a destroyer and just, you know, easily take them out, right? So, you know, you gotta play to your ship's strengths, but in general, I always like to have an exit plan, right? So that you can come back, fight another day, retake that zone when it makes sense, right? So. We were down zones early in the game, but now we're, we got all three of them, right? So, easy peasy. So, Des Moines will try and keep a little bit of distance from him because he does have radar, right? So, for example, if we were to go into the zone, he would see that it's contested. He would know there's a destroyer in the zone. And then, uh, yeah, we knew we were going to hit that Yamato, so I stopped even looking at him. We'll just focus on this Des Moines, right? So, but, uh, yeah, he's got, I think it's probably nine kilometers is sort of the standard American radar range, right? So we are within that. Um, so if he sees the smoke screen over here, he might trigger it. Yep, there it is. Um, so we'll start moving if he starts firing at us, right? So in this way, yeah, there they come. <coughs> Excuse me. Much talking today, guys. So we'll try and get get behind cover here, right? So he can't shoot us. Uh, some of those radars last a little too long, right? And so yeah, he saw us ducking behind here, so he's gonna pay attention to somebody else with his bullets, and we'll send torpedoes as they become available. And then since we fired our guns, we're now getting spotted and picked up by this gearing as well. So we'll hold off on firing guns in hopes that, um, and by hold off, I mean nope, we're gonna fire at this gearing because I want to. I'm an idiot. So the reason I like, you know, I, the 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 smart play would be not to fire and go unspotted. But I realized that there's only two ships left on their team now, and we have them vastly outnumbered, right? So it ends up being such a quick game. We take out the Des Moines with a with one of those torpedoes, and then it's just a matter of chasing down the Skiri, right? So another good old fashioned steamroll game. And now this does happen to us sometimes too, right? I know a few people have asked me to start streaming um, World of Warships, and we, we may get to that point. We've streamed a little bit of... What's that other game we were playing? Oh yeah, we were playing Skull and Bones. The pirate version of um, <laughs> of World of Warships. Sort of, kind of, not really, but anyway, yeah. So we'll chase down this guy, but yeah, you know, like, I don't have... You know, not all my games are good, right? So I do I do post some, some losses as well that we go through and kind of describe, you know why we lost or what I could have done better or blame all of my team for losing like you know like you do right <laughs> but yeah if I ever get to streaming I think if I get a few more um, if 
followers, right? If I get some more subscribers, it might I might get a little more value out of streaming. So um, we'll we'll see what happens, right? But yeah, occasionally we can, we can do some streaming. Uh, but yeah, you'll see that uh, Phoenix Six One not necessarily the best World of Warships player out there. But if you know me too, like I like to have like fun, right? So like, well, especially with like lower tier ships, like I'll play lower tier ships and just play stupid, right? Just because it's sometimes fun. It's fun to do that. So that's why I don't always have the best, um, the best, uh, what is it? Like win ratio, you know, like if you go and look at your stats and your win percentages and stuff, right? But yeah. So we'll take shots. This uh, Gearing's got his smoke screen here, so we'll dump torpedoes through it. And then of course we're going to just win on points anyway, so it doesn't matter. Always a bummer when you're like, oh man, didn't get that last kill, right? Three kills there, so that would have made four if we were able to get that carry. And so I'm always like, oh, I'm so close to a Kraken, but kind of not really. Um, 3,000 XP, that does put us at the top of the leaderboard. You see the next guy in line was at like 2,000, so that's pretty good. We did. We carried the team, right? It wasn't just a, it wasn't just a, a steamroll because of the team. It was a steamroll because of Phoenix 6-1, you guys. That At least that time. <laughs> <laughs> but that is our quickie shimakaze video for the day thank you guys so much so i did say i was going to go through the commander build and i totally forgot to um so if you're interested i mean it's very torpedo centric i have a lot of other shimakaze videos out there so go just grab any one of those and we probably go through the build at the end of the um at the end of the game right but yeah thank you guys so much for watching please do follow the channel i really do appreciate everybody that likes and follows that really helps me out and motivates me to keep going with this so please do that and we will see you tomorrow